Hello, my name is Alexander Chernat. I'm a uh, lecturer in social statistics at the University of Manchester and I'll be teaching the course uh, Blanchon Data Analysis using R at the Methods uh, Summer School in Manchester. Uh, I'm interested in uh, designing and analyzing longitudinal data. I have a PhD in survey methodology from the University of Essex and most of my research is around understanding measurement error in longitudinal data. The course is four days and a half. In the first day, we're going to look at how to clean uh, longitudinal data. This is an important part of analyzing longitudinal data and typically the most time-consuming one. Uh, so we're going to look at real-world data and how to use R in order to, uh, to prepare it for analysis. In the second day, we're going to look at the uh, cross legged model. So this is a model that we use to understand the causal direction and it really makes the most of longitudinal data. So it can be used in situations, for example, where we have the relationship between uh, the parent's uh, relationship with the child and the child de depression. We know there's a relationship, but we don't know the direction of that. Using this model, we can disentangle uh, that relationship. In the third day, we're going to talk about the multi-level model for change. So this is a very common model that we use to understand how people or institutions change in time and what causes that change. In the fourth day, we're going to look at the latent growth model for change. This is similar to the multi-level model, but it has some extra flexibility. So we can, for example, deal with missing data or we can introduce uh, things like measurement error more easily. In the last day, we're going to look at survival analysis. So this is a model that uh, we can use in order to understand discrete events like somebody dying or, for example, somebody getting divorced. And really, this uh, is a very useful model where we want to understand the timing in a, of an event and what exactly is causing it. This is really a course open to anybody who is interested in longitudinal data. So longitudinal data is really common now, everything from longitudinal surveys, admin data, social media data, sensor data, all of these are longitudinal and they offer a great potential for understanding society much better. So anybody working in the, with this kind of data and wants to analyze it properly uh, should be interested in this course. And also the fact that the course is run using R, which is an open uh, software, so anybody can use it without having to pay for licenses. My favorite football team is Real Madrid. I studied in four different countries and my favorite drink is Coke. I'm looking forward to seeing you in Manchester this year. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have people from all over the world come together to learn um, things related to data and how to analyze it.